Hello and welcome to the fourth lesson in this Python series. In the last tutorial I showed you how to combine variables. So we had a as a variable which equaled Justin, b as a variable which equaled Arnold, and then c a variable which equaled whatever a contained plus a space plus whatever b contained. And then we have this line, which is currently highlighted, I'll explain why in a second, which says print C, which simply means output or display whatever is in variable C, which would be the word Justin, then a space, and then Arnold. Now, since the last tutorial uh, that I produced, which I admit is a little bit of a while ago, I apologise for that, uh, we'll, we'll hopefully be uh, getting these tutorials out weekly now, but in the last series I was using Python version 2. In this series, or from this video onwards, I'm going to be using version 3. Now that won't make much of a difference at all to you, so don't worry about that. The only difference at this stage we have to think about is this line that says print C. This statement print has been replaced with what we call a function. What does that mean? All it means is that whatever you want to output or to display has to be surrounded by brackets. That's it. That's the only difference we have to worry about. So when we're using this print uh, function now, we open brackets and then put inside the brackets whatever we want to output. So if we run this code now, we can see down here we've got, uh, don't worry about the blue text, that just simply is the uh, location of this code, but we can see we've outputted the uh, name Justin, then a space, and then Arnold. Now that's all very well if we set the variables as Justin and Arnold, but not everybody's called that. So what we really need to do now is think about how we can get input from the user. So instead of saying that A equals Justin, what we need to do is say to the computer, all right, we're going to get a variable called A, and then what we're going to do is ask the user to enter their name, to input into our program whatever their name is. And so we use this command word input. Now we could simply say A equals input and then leave it at that. But what's helpful is if we can prompt the user and say, oh, you are actually supposed to be doing something now. Don't just sit and watch this program and wonder why it's not doing anything exciting. Uh, so we can actually say inside these brackets here something like, please enter your first name. Notice how as text this is in speech marks. So this line A equals input from the user with this prompt here. We don't have to put that prompt there. The program would work fine without it, uh, but it's just helpful for the user. Let's do the same with B. So B equals input, and the prompt for this one is going to be, please enter your last name. Now, once again, this third line here is going to take a variable C, and it's going to combine variables A and B and put a space in between them. And then this final line will print that. So let's try this. Let's run our program. And you see down here we have our prompt. It says, please enter your first name. Uh, so let's put in Bob and then press enter. Then it prompts us for the last name. Let's write in Smith and press enter. And then this last line here outputs the variable C, which is Bob plus a space plus Smith. So that's A plus a space plus B. Remember, the plus sign isn't actually adding anything. It is uh, building a list of things which then go into the variable C. So that's the simplest way of getting started with inputting data from the user. So as I suggested before, uh, try something like this. It's just a quick, simple little thing. Um, so, so far, hopefully you're able to uh, create variables, change variables, output variables, combine variables together. And now we're inputting data from the user and putting that data into a variable. 
so have a little practice with that. Any questions, any problems, please leave them in the comments section below and I will do my best to answer those. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at making decisions. So once you're ready with this, I'll see you in the next video.